uh, we'll be solving the Pearson Edexcel IAL further pure 1 F1 Jan 24 paper so we begin with question 1 we have to show that uh, M is non singular for all real values of K so singular is when the determinant of m would be 0 so we just have to find the determinant of m in this case and have to show that it cannot be 0 if k is real so determinant is ad minus bc for a, a matrix like this so for in for this case we'll get 2k plus 1 times k plus 4 minus b is k this is k plus 7 so 2k square plus 8k plus k so plus 9k plus 4 minus k square minus 7k this is k square plus 2k plus 4 this is basically k plus 2 whole square oh no it's no it's not k plus 2 whole square uh, we can complete squares for this so we'll get k plus 1 whole square minus 1 square plus 4 so k plus 1 whole square plus 3 so if we plot a graph of this there will be a max uh, there will be a minimum at minus 1 comma 3 so this would be the graph this is minus 1 comma 3 from this we can see that uh, determinant of m cannot be 0 so m is non singular for all real values of k In question B, we have to find uh, M inverse in terms of K. So, the determinant of M is K square, K plus 1 whole square plus 3. We'll be needing that. Uh, if we find the inverse, we'll get... If M is A, B, C, D, M inverse is 1 by determinant of M times d minus uh, this is minus b minus c and a over here so for this case m inverse would be 1 by k plus 1 whole square plus 3 times k plus 4 would be here minus k minus k minus 7 and 2k plus 1 over here that's it for question 1